Hey guys, X Mortis here, back for part 4 of A Beggar's Journey. Before getting into the video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are so close to hitting 13k subscribers and I really appreciate all the support this series has been getting. Now, I need to correct myself from a statement I made in my last video. I wanted to give a thank you to Dre Slay King who told me that John Rambo actually lives in New York. He would drive down to Phil's place whenever he needed him to shoot videos. In fact, DSP would never call John to see how he was doing to check up on him. It was always, let's do another video. It's no wonder why John got so burnt out on making YouTube content. John would often pay for gas to make these hour long trips to Phil's house and sometimes he would ask Phil for at least $100 to cover his expenses. Going to conventions and making vids for Phil wasn't doing any favors for him as an independent contractor, a job which he said is more profitable than spending time with Phil. Now that we got that correction out the way, let's get started with this chapter of A Beggar's Journey. Hello everyone, Dark Side Phil here and with me today is my beautiful girlfriend Leanna who also is known as Panda Lee on YouTube and uh, we just wanted to make a quick video uh, as you know I've been spending the weekend with her because uh, you know I was going to be busy on Valentine's Day so we wanted to make a special video just to say happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there Phil introduced his new girlfriend Panda Lee in a special Valentine video in 2012 even though she looked kind of awkward standing next to Phil she was probably just nervous knowing her relationship was about to be broadcasted to thousands of his fans his community took this news pretty well but there were some people who didn't like this new addition to his channel his fans were even more astonished by the large age gap between the two Panda Lee was 18 by the time they got together and Phil was pushing into his late 20s. It's widely believed that Phil was speaking to her while she was only 17 years old, making him not only a beggar, but a groomer if that's true. In my opinion, I still find it creepy that a middle aged nigga was trying to hit on a girl who just got out of high school. This shit got Onision vibes all over it. Anyways, Phil said the reason they met was because she was a fan who sent him a message and he replied back, so they hit it off from there. But in Panda Lee's words, she said that she sent him a message and he kept bugging her until she replied back to him. Don't forget guys, this is Alpha Chad Phil. Spamming a bitch until she replies back doesn't make you look desperate, it's all a part of the process. So Phil moved his barely legal bitch over to his place. She basically became the new John Rambo shooting videos. Not only that, she also became a maid for this nigga, cooking and cleaning around the house. His fans didn't like the fact she was basically taking away the fun co-op playthroughs Phil and John did, and they vocalized their concerns. This reached its breaking point when Phil started doing the co-op playthrough of Mario Party with her instead of John Rambo. In order to get the heat off his back, he made a vlog telling his fans that John didn't want to do a playthrough of a childish game like Mario. He was more into mature rated games. John ended up receiving some backlash from this, and he didn't appreciate being the scapegoat for Phil. So there's a situation that goes down where... It, ev it evolves of all things, Howard. Mario Party. <laughs> oh, God. Evolving Mario Party. So people were going out there and saying, you know, because we were doing a lot of co-ops, they're like, we, we want to see you play Mario Party with John. We want John and Phil to play Mario Party. Please p play it. Phil decides he wants to play it with his girlfriend, which is perfectly fine. I, I really don't care. It's perfectly cool. So... He uh, he wants to play with his girlfriend. He makes a video where he says that John doesn't want to play Mario Party. John likes gritty, mature type games. He doesn't want to play that. I'm going to play it with my girlfriend. It's flat out lie. <laughs> I was up for playing whatever he wanted to play, especially if people wanted us to play it. And... You know, to prove my statements correct um, and to support them, look at the stuff that we did play. So much crazy stuff. All the Kinect games, Kung Fu Riders, whatever else, man. Whatever he wanted to do, whatever the people wanted us to do, I would certainly do it. His fans didn't like the certain attitude she had when she played games with Phil. She always seemed to have this snarky attitude and would often appear to lash out at people for no apparent reason. Next. It says everything's locked for me. Yeah, but you see the XP on the top right? That's how much XP you have in, uh... Yeah, I don't have enough for, like, anything, apparently. You can buy an ability. I think you're supposed to buy an ability right here, not a weapon. Oh, well, I can't afford an ability, either. It says they're all locked. No, you can buy... It's, it does say that, but you can buy them. Yeah, if you are all locked, it won't... It, they're not unlocked yet. Oh, my God. You have to unlock them by buying them. 
it says right next to them how much they cost. And if you press extra, I buy know. Them. I am aware of that. <laughs> I have enough experience, but it still says they're locked. Damn. <sighs> Listen when I talk to you, Jesus. Did you press X? Or press play? Yes, I press X. <laughs> We're talking. Not, We're playing. This is not my first video game. All right. I'm more Resident Evil than all you guys. That's got. it. Everyone press start. <laughs> <laughs> No more talking. Let's press the start fighting. before I kill you all. Jesus, press it. Let's <laughs> uh, press a button. Start. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Even though Donna Howard stated that they didn't have any issues with Panda Lee, it was very clear to see that she played a huge factor into the separation of John and Phil's relationship. Panda Lee's ego was just as big as Phil's, probably even bigger, and you could see that clash against the much nicer personality of John Rambo. Dealing with Phil is a chore already, but dealing with his insane girlfriend as well would be too much for anyone to bargain for, especially when you're not profiting from anything involved in it. difficult. So I mentioned in my last video that DSP got a deal with an MCN known as Machinima. They helped him with copyright strikes and all he had to do was give them his ad revenue. Well, after moving in with DSP, Panda Lee hopped on the YouTube train and started making her own playthroughs as well. And can you believe that she's actually almost as bad as Phil is when it comes to gaming? Oh, this is so becoming not worth it. Yeah, whatever. So, same fucking intro as last time. <laughs> There, dash. That dash, that's what I want you to do, you fucking retard. Look at that shit. Come on. Tag out. Tag her out. Oh my god, see, that's what I'm talking about, is her combo will not let you tag out. Like, there's no break to even tag. Oh my god, she keeps spamming the same move over and freaking over. Oh, look at this shit. Where's my regenerating health? Fuck, give me something. Look at that. Tags me in just in time to kill me. Ugh. So Phil actually ends up giving her a machinima deal for her own channel, and she was able to gain an audience basically because she was sleeping in the same bed with a pig. Anyway, Pendalee seemed to enjoy vlogging more than actually playing games, but it was very clear to see that just like DSP, all of a sudden the tension started to fuel her ego, and it really showed. ...is dedicated to people that actually like my stuff. There's no trolls on there. Yet. I'm sure the trolls aren't too lazy to register and shit on everything. Do you really want to be that person that's lazier than a troll? Do you really want to be that person? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Fuck off, neighbors. But anyway, I need some freaking chocolate. I need some chocolate. I can't cope with people being stupid lately. I have an intolerance for stupid lately and for laziness. My god, it's the internet people where everything is a few mouse and button clicks away and we're still lazy. God damn, we have no hope. Damn, this chocolate's good. So after moving out of Connecticut, DSP started streaming on Twitch. It was a new platform that was gaining a lot of traction pretty quickly. Phil had hopes that it was going to be even better than trying to live stream on YouTube. It was easier to monitor chat since it was pretty simple to make another YouTube account just for the sake of trolling. DSP was quick to make Panda Lee one of his moderators, which the fans wasn't happy about at all. Panda Lee would often troll the chats, saying mean things to his fans on purpose to get them angry. If they responded, then either she would ban them or Phil would ban them instead. In one scream, however, during a session of Kingdom Hearts, her trolling was going a bit too far, and the chat wasn't having any of it, earning this reaction from DSP.
Gale, okay. All right, and now I'm gonna tell everyone in the chat I had enough of your bullshit tonight. I see everyone arguing with my girlfriend instead of talking about the game, and I've had enough. So we're gonna put it in sub-only mode, and now none of you can fucking talk. Since you can't act your age, or act mature, and you all wanna argue with my girlfriend, now you can just have no chat. How about that? So, fuck all of you who are acting immature. This is what you get now. We're putting it into sub-only mode. You fucking idiots. I'm here trying to play a fucking game. It's hard to concentrate when a bunch of little immature shits get into a fucking argument with my girlfriend. Fuck you. There you go. Subscriber only mode. No fucking chat. That's what you fucking get. Piss me the fuck off. There. Guess what? Now there's no more arguments. No more. Dumb fucks. Now we can all concentrate on the game, which is what you should have been concentrating on to fucking begin with. Immature assholes. Jesus. If I could slap you through the fucking internet, I would. Alright, now let's get back to fucking business. What we're all here for. Jeez. You see, DSP was oddly protective over Pandalee. He was basically her number one white knight. If there was one way to really piss him off back then, then he was talking about Pandalee. In fact, DSP got mad at one of his fans for just asking a question about that Kingdom Hearts screen. Listen to how mad he got over one simple question. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me not or not. I got a serious question for you. When you were playing Kingdom Hearts and your girlfriend installed the game in the stream chat, why All did right. you put it in the sub only mode? Enough of this. <laughs> I'm not playing this idiot. It's just my question. I'm not I'm not playing this idiot. I'm not gonna listen to his bullshit. We're talking about something that happened like two and a half fucking years ago. What a complete idiot. Here, you know what? Let me find a way to disable everything so I don't have to listen to these morons. How do you turn off chat? <laughs> I don't even know. Audio output. Well, this is right. I'm not playing this guy. He can sit there as all he wants. I'm not playing him. Nope. You don't get to play, dick shit. If only there was an easy way to disable fucking chat on this piece of shit console. Let's see. Not in system storage. It's in devices, I think. Audio devices. The microphone is muted. Look, I can't even, you can't even do nothing. Look. <laughs> me, but I heard you insult me. Ah, you're a piece of shit. Who gives a fuck? Seriously. Here, you know what? There. There. I don't have to hear this moron. <laughs> oh, a complete idiot. <clears throat> He's talking about something that happened two fucking years ago on Twitch. I mean, could you be more of a fucking loser? Seriously. He really... The reason this guy joined my match was to do that. Not to play the game, not to have fun. He ruins it for everyone. Delays people who want to play have to wait now, right? Because we have to listen to this fucking idiot. I mean, what... Ladies and gentlemen, you have found the epitome of a loser on the internet. Find that man, find his fucking tag on PSN, and I give you permission to spam his fucking inbox with enough nonsense so that he never fucking is able to do anything ever again. Seriously. What an asshole. He's talking about me playing Kingdom Hearts 1. That was two years ago. He's asking the dumbest fucking question ever. What a complete idiot. <laughs> My god, we're playing MKX in 2015, you fucking loser. Wow. Anyway, if only I could figure out how to disable voice chat so I don't have to hear people do stupid shit like that, but I can't, because guess what? There's no easy way to do it on PSN. The guy had no fucking interest in playing the game. He just wants to waste everyone's time to bring stupid shit up from two years ago. That's, that is the kind of guy who I want to punch. Like, that is the only, per the only way that idiot will ever learn anything is if someone knocks his fucking teeth out of his face. Then he won't do it anymore. But that's the problem. On the internet, everything's safe, right? Everyone could just troll anyone and do anything and say nasty shit and bring up stuff from two fucking years ago. Because they're cowards. If only he knew that Karma was about to bite him in his ass right after this happened. Alright, let's play. Hopefully this Yo, guy... Yo, why'd you mute... Oh why'd my god, we already have an idiot. I'm gonna play him though. It's okay, I'm gonna play this guy. Yo, yeah, why'd you, you mute that? that guy? Oh, why'd you do that? <laughs> All right, let's play this guy, and then, I'm, then I'll mute the mic. I was holding block, but okay. Well, he got me with a combo. 
Wow! Wow! <laughs> I'm listening to this idiot! Ah, 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 oh ah, my ah. god! Unkippable! Unblockable! Why can't I block it? Oh my. Oh my god! Why can't I, can't I block even do a move! I can't teleport! I can't do anything! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. idiot! Why can't I block you? Honestly, so bad. So bad. You know, he's just, look, he's just smashing buttons and he's hitting combos because I can't do anything. So bad. What a fucking idiot. Oh, now I dropped the combo. What will I do? Online combos. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, your girlfriend's an idiot. Look at this guy. Now he's gonna insult my girlfriend, but I, he says I. Yeah, what a fucking loser. What a fucking loser. Now look at my skeleton. It's safe to say that nobody was really warming up to Pandalee at all, and she never really gave people a reason to. She was constantly arguing with people and would block or ban those who challenged her when she stepped out of line. Her relationship with Phil started to go down as well, and most of it is honestly DSP's fault. Yes, she was his girlfriend, but it was rare for him to show any kind of affection. Like John Rambo, all he ever wanted to do with her was shoot videos and help her sell her bullshit soap. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Pandalee sold soap on the internet. It wasn't good. Been on Brambleberry a lot. We got the 10 inch loaf mold. We got all the basic shapes. We got two of the circle. We got a rectangle. We have an oval, which is huge. We got the big block. We got the round. Oh my god, holy crap. Oh my god, I'm gonna like lose my mind. Phil wins Christmas for life. Like, oh my god, this is so awesome. And he's not even making me say this, okay, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, go away, get off me. <laughs> so while his fans were vocalizing their concerns of Panda Lee, one person stood out, and his name was Evil AJ. He tried to warn Phil that Panda Lee was going to be the downfall of his channel, but Phil being Phil, banned Evil AJ, and would spark a series that still hunts DSP to this day. And the name of that series was This Is How You Don't Play, with Evil AJ being his sole creator. The first This Is How You Don't Play was his Metal Gear Solid 2 playthrough, which was posted on February 15, 2013. Phil was doing his best for Machinima to try to get these videos taken down, but his attempts were unsuccessful, and these videos are still up to this day. After getting into a verbal disagreement with a Twitch staff moderator about the bitrate of his screams, DSP took his screaming back to YouTube. Then, on one fateful day, Phil loaded up his screen, but unknowingly had his camera turned on, when it usually would be showing his pre screen art. What we saw was, well, I'll let you see. Also, I can remember a time where you were actually begging to come on my show. Yeah, I do remember that. You were begging to come on Dromler. But you know, it's strange. I don't know why you're begging to come on my show because you've already been on my show. Don't you remember that one time that you sat down at your streaming computer and you know, you were looking at a little porn hub and you were fucking, you were going to town just smacking that sausage, right? Groaning and everything else and you know, grabbed a little tissue, cleaned up the mess that you made. And then you noticed that you were streaming live. Yeah, we ran that story on fucking Drobler. That was fucking hilarious. You fucking beat off right in front of your fans. So yeah, I get it. I get why you hate me because we covered that story. What is up, everyone? Hello, hello, and welcome. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Hello. So Phil stated that the reason this all happened was because Panda Lee and him were going through a rough time in their relationship. Basically saying that it was all her fault that he jerked off on screen. She wasn't showing him enough attention. The bottom line was at that point in my relationship with my ex, things were not going well. Things were starting to fall apart at the seams. There was a lot of behind the scenes stress. And we were not getting along at all. It was to the point where like we were living together as roommates. But there was no love there anymore. It was kind of just like we're going through the motions to say that we're together, but we weren't really doing anything that was anything fun or interesting together. And we really, a lot of the things that we had loved to do weren't fun anymore. Um, you know what I mean? So at that point in my relationship, it was like around mid-2016. Things were not going well, all right? 
So I was depressed. I'll be honest. I've told you guys before publicly about my depression that I suffered from depression. I was depressed, um, and it was a time when there was no intimacy to speak of whatsoever, and I was an idiot. I was a complete idiot. And if you're wondering why there was no intimacy in their relationship at this point, it was because Phil treated her horribly. You can even see that on screen. Yeah, I bet you've had enough of it. You got embarrassed in this one and then the previous one and the one before that. You're All looking right, for one that doesn't make you look like shit. Sure that, uh... Leanna's awake. She's not been feeling too well. I want to make sure she's awake because she has to start making dinner. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Are you fucking kidding me? Did he just say his girlfriend's sick, but he's got to go wake her up <laughs> to make sure she can cook his fat ass dinner? <laughs> Holy shit. What an irredeemable piece of crap. Yeah, God, my girlfriend who sells her shitty fucking soap to support my fat ass. Uh, she's real sick right now, but I better go make sure she's awake to cook me dinner. Wow, what a champion. Who doesn't want to be his girlfriend? You can hear him in the background. Yeah, wake up, bitch. I need my hot pockets. From 2016 onward, you can see that Phil and Panda Lee's relationship was fading quickly. Panda's eyes were beginning to open and she started to realize that even though she wasn't really attractive, someone out there was desperate enough for her. Her attitude towards Phil went from playful banter to bitter nagging. She wasn't even afraid to put him on blast right there in front of everybody. There's another robot body. Hey man, do you have a problem? What? I still can't hear you. Yeah. I can't. I seriously can't. I'm wearing headphones. I can't hear you. You're saying stuff, and all I hear is rum 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 rum. That's what I hear. Don't worry, that's what I hear when you talk too. All right, here we go. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Typical men can't satisfy the simple needs of a woman. What are you talking about? <laughs> now you made me waste a healing item. Well, everyone in stream chat's reacting, but I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing here. Well, that'd be a first. God damn it. Darth Viking says, what a singer. But I don't even know what that means. What a singer. No one's singing. No one's singing, but I'm dying. I can't get this mission. It's tough. Well, you know, we'll just have to end the stream early and I can take you to the burn war. Alright, well, can I please concentrate? Can I please concentrate now? Thank you. Thank you. Can you allow me to concentrate on the game? It's not distracting me. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do this. Oh shit. You couldn't do it, even though I no. did distract you. Yeah, no, because oh, you are shit. distracting me just by sitting here. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Oh shit! It's almost as if you're pushing your problems on me. I'll come back later. I'm ready for my apology now. It has nothing to do with, with apologizing. You were distracting me! I am ready for my apology, please. No, you're not getting one. <laughs> You're not getting one because you were incredibly distracting when I was trying to do it. Oh, well, excuse me. I'm sorry. My feminine wilds are so distracting. They are. To you as a man. This is a, a, a man zone. This whole room is a man zone. I spray it with musk every night. Well, then guess what? This down here can remain a man it zone. It is a man zone, too. Yeah, well, guess what? There's never going to be a woman in that <laughs> man zone now. Ever. For that. Excuse me while my, my feminine well, wife anyway, is distracting you. Since you're trying to hijack the entire stream here, I'm going to see if this guy has another mission. It looks like it unlocked. God damn it! I screwed up the jump. It's all your fault. Wow, not even trying now. Now everything's just my it fault. It is! It's your fault! Oh, well, Jesus, it must also be my fault when the laundry is done. When I cook you delicious <laughs> I'm sorry, I am so Oh my god. Human being. <laughs> it's not this it's not that kind of stream. <laughs> Such a horrible person. Alright, so sorry everyone. Uh I wasn't actively reading the stream chat there for a little bit simply because I was doing these challenging side missions. So on May 15, 2017, Pendley ended up having a panic attack and had to go to the hospital. Her condition was pretty serious and they had to drug her in order to calm her down. Phil was called and was told Pendley was at the hospital and he should go there and pick her up and make sure she's okay. Phil was acting like a total dick about the whole thing since he really just wanted to stay home and scream. He really didn't care about her medical problems, he just needed his wheelchair funds. But when he got to the hospital, he was amazed by the fact that they already had a hospital 
bill set up with payment plans. Phil only likes to spend his money on fast food and mobile games, so paying another bill was definitely enough to set him off. He called up the hospital and told him that Panda was not allowed to be taken back to the emergency room if she had another panic attack, which is insanely fucked up. It really shows you just how much he values money over a human life. He has no shame at all. So after hearing about what he did, it turned out to be the last straw for Panda. It didn't take her long to leave him after that, and if you want my opinion, it was totally deserved. Well, in particular, also this past week, I did reveal something personal because people were kind of getting wind of it. Uh, the fact that myself and Leanna had broken up um, after, you know, being together for five years and living here in Washington for almost three years. Uh, things didn't work out, and we are apart now. She doesn't even live here anymore. And when I revealed this, of course, all hell broke loose. People didn't believe me at first uh, or thought that what the hell what was the real story. The bottom line is this, because I said it on Twitter, and I'll say it again. Um, it's really no one's business. What happened is between myself and Leanna, that's how we're keeping it. We're not going to reveal any information to anyone on in public on the internet or anything about that, about what, what, what went down. Um, if we wanted to, we would have already, right? Um, and that's that. It's that simple. Leanna is gone. She's off, you know, doing her own thing. A relationship like the one Panda and Phil had was never going to work out in the end. Phil was insanely greedy and only wanted to use people. And Panda Lee was a legend girl who wanted to live a carefree life, complaining about shit that doesn't matter and selling her bullshit soap on the internet. The age gap also plays a big factor since Phil wanted to settle down, but you really can't do that with a young girl like Panda. It's kind of believed that Panda was seeing other people while they were still engaged, but this really hasn't been confirmed. Yeah, text me, but we're definitely still doing dinner, right? Okay. Okay. Dr. Fate. I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm. All right. Like John Rambo and Howard, Panda left the internet after leaving Phil and really hasn't made any noise since. I believe she's still active on Twitter, but I don't fuck with Twitter because that place is terrible. I see a lot of trolls praising Panda these days when they seem to forget that at times, she was just as bad as Phil, probably even worse in my opinion. I think I saw somewhere that she found another boyfriend who she basically treats like Phil, staying at his place for free while still trying to sell her bullshit soap. I think it's true, but take that with a grain of salt, because if it is, then that means she learned absolutely nothing. Now, I don't want to sound mean or anything, Thing. But if you ask me, yeah, she was really just a bitch. 89.7 KACC, we got a dedication in. <sighs> these these kids and their names, I swear. So, Dark Side Phil wants to dedicate a song to Panda Lee. He wants to dedicate Baby Come Back by Player. I, I don't know what to say, guys. Okay, so, anyway... Here's Baby Come Back by Player, and they actually wanted me to say Baby Come Back, ack, 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 ack. I don't, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it with these kids. But yes, Dark Side Phil, here's your dedication to Candle Lee, and this is 89.7 KACC.